go! That Lockman is nasty, bro! Got him out. He's gonna hold us. He's one tap, we win. I got him. Let's go! Shot in the back. Tried the guy in the yeah, roof. Uh, the sewer end. But your choice. Tried that guy. We win. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Let's go, bro! He's down. I down one. One way. Well, crack the other one. They're both broken. I thought this gun was absolute poop, complete doo-doo, just junk in season one and two. However, something changed and in season three, it became my favorite gun. I accidentally picked it up as ground loot and started destroying everyone. So I decided to make a class loadout on this gun and come to find out it shreds. And while it does not have the same damage per bullet as say an LMG like the RAF or the RAL, this gun has got something better. DPS, meaning damage per second. And what this means is even though each bullet doesn't do as much damage, there is more bullets being sprayed faster fire rate so if you can land all your shots it will actually kill faster than an lmg not to mention it does not have recoil this gun is almost completely free of recoil very easy to control and whatever recoil is left on this gun after i show you my build you should easily be able to control it and once you do that you will be able to land more shots clearly and easily to get kills quicker and more efficiently let me show you guys why this gun is the best why it gives everybody a permanent dirt nap why you are gonna love it and i'm gonna show you right now how I set it up. Let's get going. Oh! I got him. Woo! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! That Lockman is nasty, bro. I got one down over here. I mean... Subject. Come on, three shoot at it, bro. Got one guy over here. Got another guy over here. Coming. I kill. I'm killing everybody. I see him. I see him. I got this guy right here. Oh, no, no. We win. Got we won. Three. Let's, Let's go. go. Guy landing on you. Yeah, he's in. Two. There's two hiding in this corner. Yo. They're so weak. Oh my. Dude. Shots. Got him, He's gonna hold us. He's one tap. We win. I got him. Let's go. Let's go. Shot in the back. Complaining out. Fried the guy in the roof. Uh, the sewer end. But your choice. Fried that guy. Down again. We win. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Double kill. Let's go, bro. Y'all went on the first one. I got shot. I already shot. Oh, shot. Him again. Oh, bro. They are so trash, bro. Die down. He's down. Down that guy. Oh, you right here. So damn. Oh. Off you go. Your squad. Be advised. Down him. I down one. One way. Bro, crack the other one. They're both broken. Oh shit. Got him. I, I got him a little bit. 
Bro, I was trying to tag him. Bitch, why you see this nigga like it crazy? This nigga moving around. Not anymore. Of course you'd be up there when you eat. Yep, I'm a little bitch. Yep, yep. You're the one hiding in the water, dog. Don't know how that adds up. Fuck. Got him, Team White. Man. Broke him. Broke one. He's down. Oh shit! Woo. Got him. Get beam, kid. Get beam. How you like that? Downed one in the air. Got him. Oh, no way. Down the guy on my mark. He's down. Dirty going up. Shit! Oh! He has one shot, dude. Got that him. kid, get around. Let him. Hostile UIV in the air. Crack the guy in the gas over here. Oh, Crack the guy oh, up top. Ours. Guy what? in there is cracked, fully cracked. Nice. Nice. Good. Boy, I, I got him. Goodbye. Oh, I'm pushing really mm, Got him. Got him too. Got the other one. Mick is a rock. Stay alive, man. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. Good job, man. No, he's right here. He's right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tossing smoke grenade. Throw a flash grenade. A flash bang, though. Secured their net. I broke him. I broke him. The fuck, dude? Where's my team? Where did he fucking run away? Like three guys. I'm trying to res. I killed him both. That's not enough. Ah! Team wipe them all. Come Hi, on, boys. Help me out. Let's go. All right, let's dive right into the Lockman 556. I named it after one of my subscribers and supporters, Gimp Stuff. So that's what we call this gun, but the Lockman 556 is the best AR in the game right now. We're gonna start out with the Aim4 Optic. Then we're gonna run the 15.9 inch Lockman Wrap Barrel, Harbringer D20 Suppressor, FTAC Ripper 56, and a 60 round mag. The reason why we run it this way is because this gun has a very small amount of kick and its horizontal spray pattern could be quite Quite annoying. However, the FTAC Ripper 56 eliminates pretty much all of it, which means the gun has almost no recoil. You're gonna have to control a little bit of recoil, but this gun is fantastic. Let's dive right in here. All right, guys, with the optic, let's dive right in. We got flinch resistance and 0.30 right here on the close setting. Let's move over here to the Lockman wrap barrel. We're gonna do recoil steadiness and damage range. On the Harbringer D20, we got ADS speed and bullet velocity. And the reason I do this is because the Lockman 556 does not have bad recoil at all. This is only gonna tighten up the bullet spread. It's gonna be minuscule. You're not gonna notice it, but you're gonna get some pretty decent ADS speed for an AR set up that way. FTAC Ripper 56, recoil stabilization, and aim idle stability. And of course, the magazine, we're just gonna leave it as is, as you can't tune that anyway. Show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. This gun just smacks. It really does. Like if you're really fast with it, the recoil is almost non-existent. 
Very small amount of horizontal recoil, but that can be fixed. Here's the recoil pattern of this gun. Very little recoil. If I go ahead and change to recoil smoothness, it's going to slow the gun down noticeably. Not a terrible amount, but... So you can see right there, that's the pattern. And to prove it, we'll do it one more time. I'm not moving my mouse at all. I'm letting the gun do its thing. Pretty smooth. Let's go back to Harbinger D20 and go to ADS speed. And we'll do it right here one more time. So it's obvious that you're getting a lot more recoil smoothness. And that is the difference between recoil smoothness. So if anybody tries to say there's no difference between recoil smoothness, if anybody tries to say that recoil smoothness makes no difference, this is what you're dealing with right here. It 100% does. It only kicks in, if you guys notice, about 15 to 20 rounds in. So your long battles is where it's gonna matter the most. 